You know what I mean? This fight, uh, it, it made me feel like life isn't fair sometimes. And that's the story for Matt Schnell, man, because Rogerio Bontarin took this fight on short notice. Uh, Matt Schnell was originally slated to fight Alex Perez. I don't remember why they pulled out, but nonetheless, Bontarin said he was about 165 pounds when he took the call to accept the fight in like, you know, two weeks, three weeks or something like that. Had to cut or maybe a month. He had to cut down to 125. Couldn't do it. Ultimately weighed in at 137 pounds after Matt Schnell already weighed in. So then Matt Schnell had to rehydrate up about 10 pounds. And you know if uh, Bontarin, AJ, if you know Bontarin weighed in at 137, that he was most likely walking around probably at like 150 or something like that. Because I'll tell you what, he looked huge in there with Matt Schnell. And when he was landing... Yeah, you could tell there was a big there was a big weight difference in this fight, man. Since they didn't fight at 125 pounds, AJ, since they literally fought a weight class up and then Hogerio didn't even make that weight class. I mean, how much credence can you give this win? A win is a win is a win, right? But I feel like this is the most unfair loss that Matt Schnell has to take. And then there's another thing I want to talk about in a second. But just give me your, give me your take on that, AJ. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I'm with you, Derek. A win is a win is a win. At the end of the day, Matt Schnell is the one who said, yeah, I'll fight him. So, you know, I mean, it goes down to it. And, and we've, we've seen in the past that weight really does matter, especially in wrestling. Not necessarily in striking, maybe. You know, you, you take a big difference. Like, I'm, I was, when you said he was walking around at 165, that's absolutely insane that this man would cut 40 pounds to fight. Because you know he's rehydrating up, like you said, 150. Yeah. So they're fighting around 150. Dude, that's, that's crazy. But I feel bad for Matt Schnell. I feel bad for him. You know, like, like you said, man, uh, uh, Bontarine is bigger, landing the harder shots. Feel bad for him. But at the end of the day, Matt Schnell signed on the dotted line to fight. And, you know, when sometimes when the cage gets locked, not everything's fair, my man. And you just got to square up and fight, and that's life. So there you go. Life is definitely not fair, man. But the, the game of mixed martial arts, especially in the UFC, is, is really, really not fair, man. But I will say this. The other reason why it wasn't fair is because, first off, we know Texas notorious for a questionable uh, – uh, judging, right? And but we also had some questionable, questionable officiating, refereeing, uh, refereeing, refereeing, right? And the reason why I say that is because in the last round, right, round three of that fight between Bontarine and Matt Schnell, Matt Schnell, he tries to adjust his mouthpiece while he's getting hit. Mouthpiece flies out of his mouth, and he fights probably like two minutes, two and a half minutes without a mouthpiece, just ground and pound, smashing his face. And there's so many opportunities the referee could have been like, all right, you guys are lulling right here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, before it got to those critical ground and pound spots, like, there was so many options for Matt Schnell to be able to, like, stop the action so they can get his mouthpiece back in. This dude got his face smashed for two and a half minutes with no mouthpiece, dude, against a dude who's probably 20 pounds bigger than him. To me, that was disgusting. To me, that was terrible. Matt Schnell shouldn't have to deal with something like that as a referee. Like, they are talking about it on the broadcasting time. The, the, the broadcast team was talking about it the whole time. They were just like, dude, like, how does this dude not see it? And there's, like, no one there to tell him, hey, man, his mouthpiece is out. You better not step on it. You better, like, make sure you see it. The referee eventually saw it man but he didn't even he, I mean he didn't put it back in like the literally the fight ran out and then he was like all right fight's done my thing is man someone could you could break your teeth you could cut your tongue crazy crazy things could happen at the end of the day this isn't street fighting dude this is a sport this is this is a league right so what are we talking about so I just felt like there was a real string of bad luck for Matt Chanel um and uh you know, listen, I guess that's just how they go, man. Maybe that's that's karma. You know what I mean? I don't know. Matt Schnell seemed a little overconfident coming into this fight. I'm not going to lie to you. And uh, he even said on the corner, he was like, listen, man, this dude's lulling me to sleep. He's so inactive, yada, yada, yada. Tough break for Matt Schnell.